Hey guys, today's focus is Euclidean geometry. So it says ABCD is a rhombus with the diagonals AC 16 centimeters and TB 30 centimeters. So TB the long diagonal is 30 centimeters and the shorter diagonal AC is 16 centimeters. And the first question says Calculate the length of BC. So on the schematic, BC is the side. So in order for us to calculate the length of BC, we need to discuss a few properties um, of a rhombus. The properties are pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So sides opposite each other are parallel. All four sides are equal in length. And then we can also discuss the properties of the diagonals. The diagonals bisect each other at O. That means they cross each other midway at O and they also bisect perpendicularly at 90 degrees. So we can use this information to find the length of BC. Because the diagonals bisect each other meaning we cut each other midway. If the full length of BD is 30 centimeters, it means the distance from B to D should be 15 centimeters. And if the full distance of AC is 16 centimeters, it means the distance from O to C should be eight centimeters. And because the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees, it means this the triangle BOC, triangle OBOC then becomes a right triangle. We're given two sides, therefore BC then becomes the hypotenuse. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem to find the length of BC. We can then say BC squared, square of the hypotenuse is equal to 15 squared sum of the squares on the other two sides so it's 15 squared plus 8 squared this is equals to this is equals to 225 plus 64 which is equals to 289 so we can take the square root on both sides so therefore bc should be equals to 17 units so the second question says calculate of if OF is parallel to DC with F on BC. So OF is this line given line segment. And one thing that we can notice is that OF is parallel to DC. So the question wants us to calculate the length of OF. So to calculate the length of OF, we can relate it to the length of CD. And we can see this by acknowledging BCD as a triangle you will notice that O is the midpoint of BD and F is the midpoint of BC because we saw that BD and AC are diagonals so this is the midpoint remember diagonals bisect each other and because this line this runs parallel it means this point is the midpoint of BC. So what this means is we can apply the midpoint theorem which states that the line segment that is formed between the midpoints of two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side and is half the size. So from year to year is half the size of the third side. You will recall earlier on that we found the length of BC 17 units and because this is a rhombus all four sides are equal so it means the length of dc is 17 and all other sides is 17 so we can then say the length of of should be equals to half the length of dc because of the midpoint theorem the midpoint theorem and because we found DC to be 17, 
half of 17 is 8,5 units. So the next question says determine the size of angle OBF. OBF is given by this angle here. Uh, if OFC is 64 degrees, so angle OFC is given by this angle here. So we can note OBF, angle OBF is 64 degrees, and we need to find this angle here. You will recall that pairs of opposite sides of, of a rhombus is parallel. So we can form, we can actually form a pair of corresponding angles. So if this angle here is 64 degrees, it means this here is 64 degrees. Angle CBA is 64 degrees because these two sides are parallel. So we can say angle CBA is, 60, is equal to 64 degrees because corresponding angles. This is because AB is parallel. AB is parallel to OF. And here we have a diagonal and we know the diagonals of a rhombus bisect, bisect interior angles. So if angle CBA is 64 degrees, it means that angle FBO is 32 degrees and angle B2 is 32 degrees. So now we can say angle OBF is equals to 32 degrees because diagonals bisect interior angles. And we know this because ABCD, ABCD is a, ABCD is a rhombus. And the last question says determine the area of the rhombus ABCD. We are told that the length of AC is 16 centimeters and the length of the longer diagonal is 30 centimeters. So the formula that we use to calculate the area of a rhombus is given as area is equals to half the product of the diagonals, which in this case is DB multiplied by AC. Remember product simply means multiplication. So this is equals to half times the length of DB, which is 30 times the length of AC, which is 16. So half of 30 is 15 and 15 times 16 is equals to, which is equals to 240 square units. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.